Welcome to Investors Insights. Our topic today is how to make friends and influence markets. Uh, I chose that topic. Dale Carnegie is probably uh, spinning in his grave today with no disrespect <laughs> to Dale Carnegie, but is somebody who understood, you know, you got to work with people and uh, work through things. Uh, this is an eventful week. We've got great economic news that's taking place in the United States. At the same time, we've got a G7 meeting coming up, and I don't think that's going to be a group hug by any means. Does everybody agree <laughs> yeah, with me agreed. on that? So on that note, uh, Bob, you started out just talking about the economy, we, you know, and unemployment and, and, and how things are going. We've got a lot of noise out there. So talk about that some more. Yeah, Friday we had a great jobs report. Uh, the economy added 223,000 jobs in May. Unemployment rates at 3.8%. That's the lowest in 18 years. Uh, layoffs are at a 50-year low. So things are really good on the jobs front. Uh, two aspects of that, with the, the jobs market so strong, unemployment so low, that's got to start pushing wages higher. That's something that we've been missing mm -hmm. uh, the past two years is wages. Right. Wages have been remained pretty flat. Then also, you know, as we're always look, talking about politics, uh, looking forward to the midterm elections, people are, are happy with the economy. And people are employed, their wages will start, start going higher. Right. And so this Democratic supposedly blue wave that is expected or that might happen, not looking so good. I mean, right. people are happy with what's going on. Well, and that's the whole point. The, the noise creates the emotion. Right. The, the emotion yeah. creates the volatility. Uncertainty it, over who's going to be absolutely. leading. Exactly. Right. So yeah. as we said in previous vlogs, this is not going to be a yeah. dull summer by right. any means. Mm -hmm. We're not in summer doldrums mm -hmm. at, at all. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, you're, you're correct. There's, there's going to be this constant battling of the political noise, the you know other rhetoric that's mm -hmm. going on. The reality. The reality yeah, of yeah. it. So and the economic news has got to come forward. But now, actually, you threw in uh, some additional data there when Bobby yes. was talking about uh, unemployment and, and, and hiring. Talk about that. Well, we like to kind of give you behind the numbers, too. And uh, this employment data, as Bobby mentioned, was good any way you slice it. But two interesting things kind of on the ground level in the economy that were revealing to us is one is it's the lowest unemployment rate among women since 1953, massive statistic. Mm. Interesting. And then in addition to that, you're seeing a major st statistical step up in manufacturing, even hiring high schoolers wow. for summer employment, yeah. something they've never historically really done. Sure. So that means they're, they're just growing and grabbing to get it pretty right. much everywhere they can. Right. Yeah. And, the, and we've talked about in previous vlogs also, there's a shortage of uh, truckers mm -hmm. yes. and, and, and trucks, yep. uh, the shipment of mm -hmm. product. And, and that's a wide range when I use the word product. But just like uh, a trucker uh, cannot get licensed till age 21, mm -hmm. and there's a big debate going on. Should we start letting them at age 18, younger, uh, yeah. younger to be able to do that? Great point. So, so you've got this kind of movement in the overall economy, and then here we come internationally, and we've got tariffs which tie back into the U.S. economy. But you talked about the G7 meeting mm -hmm. that's coming up. Talk about that. The G right. This may be the most interesting G7 meeting. What the G7 is, the group of seven, it's the seven largest advanced economies. What it is, it's uh, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, the United Kingdom, and the U.S. They get together, and the leaders of them of, that, of those countries will be meeting this week in Canada. And I'd love to be a, a fly in the wall on that because the U.S. <laughs> has just announced that they're going to impose tariffs on everybody listed. Uh, Italy is currently in a populist revolt. Who just they just created a form a government together to leave the EU. The British are in the process of debating of. of, of deciding on how, they've already decided to leave, but they're deciding on how to leave Germany, France, and Italy. Uh, and then Canada and the U.S. are in heated debates over whether or not NAFTA should continue. Poor Japan is sitting there wondering why everyone hates each other. <laughs> it's it's going to be fascinating because the rhetoric, it'll be interesting to see, everyone talks talks tough when they're not in the same room together. I wonder, I, I'd be curious to see if the rhetoric is still as hot when they're sitting across the table and what kind of comes out of that. We saw last week with the news out of Italy how much that rocked our markets. This this could be a very a very news heavy market moving uh, meeting uh, yeah. this week. So be, so something very closely watched. Oh yeah, and and huge impact as mm -hmm. we continue to move forward. And that's why we chose the topic how to win friends and influence markets. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be a very eventful week with a a, a lot of rhetoric and negotiations mm -hmm. and uh, economic data going on. So we thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch us. We hope you continue to share it with others. And we hope you have a great week as we begin the summer. Thanks.